Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I'm waiting for people to jump on. I know that it's late. You know, typical night out hours. But I want to jump on here, guys. I've been wanting to do some embellishments for you guys. And I've just been feeling a little uninspired and stuff. But I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I've been working on. So I finally busted out my sewing machine. And oh my God, guys, I'm in love with my sewing machine. I got a brother SQ9285. And shout out to Natalie, man, because she's the one who uh, told me, suggested it to me. And I am in love with it, guys. So the first day, hey, Sandra, the first day that I did it, I sewed on this box that I'm working on. And you can see that like, I kind of messed up right here, but I don't think that it's that bad for my first try. And then my second time, hey, Cheryl's. Oh my God, guys, the second time I tried to do a memory dex card. What did I do with it? I think I might have thrown it out. But I was like trying to use all these fancy stitching and stuff, right? And it got caught, it got it stopped. It made this weird noise. Hey, precious. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna break my damn sewing machine. So I was like trying to watch tutorials because it says like an error code. And I had to literally take the shit apart, guys. I had to take the screws out and everything. And I was like so scared I was gonna break it. But it was a good learning experience because now I know, you know, something like that happens. So I'm learning, guys. And it's been so fun and I can't stop sewing. So my second time that I was sewing, I was like, let me sew on these tags. So there's a sheet in the garden party where it has all these cut aparts. And I just wanted to add. So at first I was using my pink stitching, my, my pink thread. And I'm like, let me bust out my gold thread. So, okay, now you make me want to buy a sewing machine. Yes. If you guys get one, get that brother SQ9285. It's so good. Oh my God. I love it so much. I'm going to have to do like a review on it once I learn more. I've been learning though for my second day, for me fucking up, um, I did learn that there's like different foot pedals. So there's like a lot of stitches on there and there's different pedals that you have to use with each stitch. And I didn't know that. So I almost jammed my shit. Like look, look at this stitch. It's so cute, guys. Hey, Veronica. Hey, everyone. So I just wanted to add some little details. This is that expensive ass thread that you guys were like, oh my God. And it's so pretty. I swear I will buy another one. I'm going to have to buy another one because this gold is bomb. So I just wanted to add like some little, this is a different stitch. So I don't know. I just added this because I thought it would add some cute little details. Look at this one. Hey, Tata. Hello, everyone. Thank you, girl. It was like I was having anxiety. Like, look at this one. So pretty. I was having anxiety. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to break this shit. And I was like, you know what? I don't care. If I do break it, it's going back. Like, I'm sending that motherfucker back, and I'm going to get a brand new one. So I took it apart, and I fixed the uh, the problem or whatever. It was like uh, it got jammed. So I don't know. So I did that, and then I made these guys. You guys know that, so this is inspired by the, the Vintage Goose. She's the one who came up with this idea. Um, and I never knew how to sew. So you guys remember I did a tutorial where you don't have to sew and we just glued it. But I've always wanted to sew them. So I sewed a bunch of these with the Sweet Story papers. And again, you know, I had to use that gold. So I made big ones. I made small ones. And then I made baby ones. Look how cute. So this is using all the Sweet Story papers. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go ahead and try to sew some chipboard. So I sewed on some chipboard, guys. I want to test the waters. I was like, I don't care if it breaks. This is going back. And it, it, it actually handled it very well. So, yeah. I bought this from scrapbook.com, guys. And look at these dents that are in them. It's really weird. Hi, Sonia. Hi, everyone. Did I say hi to everyone? I hope I did. So I've been going crazy sewing, guys. I've been trying to learn. And then after that, I'm like, let me just do one more thing. So this is um, a punch from Auntie Martha. I don't know where I threw it. I don't know where I threw it. But look at how tiny it is, guys. It's not even, it's literally, this is half an inch, okay? And I stitched on there with, with a pair of scissors. Like I guided it with some scissors. And I think it's so cute. It kind of gives the impression 
You know how the ice cream cones have those like little zags or whatever? Hey, Beth. Yes, yeah, so tiny. So then I added some diamond dots and I thought this was a cute little embellishment. So today I wanted to jump on here because I made this with my, um, what do you call these? My ruffled paper things, banners. And I'm like, you know what? When I'm in, when in doubt, do a bow. So I made this one and I stuck the little ice cream on there and I made like a little beaded strawberry. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. Um, I kind of want to like change it up a bit. I feel like it's a little much with this. So the next one, I'm going to layer some paper on it. Thank you, Natalie. Hey, Royal. Hey, Debbie. I hope I said hi to everybody. So let's go ahead and get started, guys, with this tutorial, okay? So we're going to be making these beaded strawberries. And it's so easy. All I did was use a heart-shaped bead and some of these sequins from Pretty Mix Studio, Natalie, these little flower ones. And since I'm playing with Sweet Story, I wanted to use the pink and the yellow. Thank you, girl. So at first, let me show you guys. Let me show you. So at first, I used this bead right here, but I didn't like how it looked. I think it looked more like a berry, like a raspberry. So I hauled these beads right here. Thank you. You remember I showed you guys these from um, Joann's, okay? They have these at Joann's. They're iridescent berry beads, and they have them for a dollar, and they come in a lot of colors. So at first I tried this, and I think it looks really cute, but this one looks more like a strawberry. Get a sewing machine, girl. I swear. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, like, one thing I do is don't, I don't lie. Like, I keep it 100 with y'all. And I was so scared to use that sewing machine. I was like, I'm going to fucking sew my fingers off. I'm going to break it. Like, I was so scared. And then I just got tired. Like, I knew I was going to eventually get to it. And I'm like, okay, now's the time. I'm bullshitting. I want to sew on these projects that I'm working on. So I just jumped in. All right. So we got our berry bead, right? This is the one from Joann's. So this one looks cute as a berry, but I like the heart one better as a strawberry. And all you do is literally layer these as your little toppers. So there's a yellow one. And I'm just doing these two colors because of Sweet Story. And I just like, you know what I mean? Uh, what do you call it? Put it in between the two. And then you like kind of fold it down a little bit. And then there you have like a rat, like a berry. So this one was really cute, but I just think that the heart one looks more. Let me go ahead and wire wrap this. The heart one looks more like a strawberry, in my opinion. Sorry if you hear my girls. They don't got school tomorrow, so I'm letting them play the game late. You got this. I've been sewing since I was a child. It's not hard. Like, honestly, that machine. This is my first machine, so I cannot compare it to other sewing machines um, other than that little piece of shit that I bought from Tuesday morning. But honestly, the machine does everything for you. All you do is, like, guide it. And I like my machine because every time, like, sometimes I forget to put the thing, something down, like the foot, the foot thing. I don't even, I got to learn the, the terms. But you guys know the, the foot thing that goes down. Sometimes I forget to put it down and it'll beep, 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 beep. It beeps every time I do some shit wrong. So I'm just going to wire wrap this. So you guys let me know what you think about this for a strawberry. All right, let me clip this. And these berry beads are cool from Joann's because they have like a, it's like raised right here. I don't know if you can see that. I have no clue about sewing machines. Me either, Cheryl's. Like, I, I literally didn't even look at the CD. I pulled up a tutorial on the a computer, and it walked me through it. And I had to, um, once I get, like, real comfortable with it, I'm going to do a, a review on it so you guys can, can check it out. But it was really simple to put the thread on the bobbin. And it was really, it was hard for me at first to understand how to put the needle through the threader. 
but I got it after a while. I had to watch that shit like 10 times. Oh, it shifted on me. So the other one, I glued it here so they could be, I got to make sure to glue it. But anyways, hi, Maria. My little girl's all over me. You should do a tutorial for those of us that have no clue about sewing. I will, I promise. Because I was there too. Need more practice. Need to practice more. You got this. I've been sewing since I was a child. I need simple instructions. It's really simple. And I liked watching. Um, It comes with a, a CD, a DVD or whatever. But I don't know what's wrong with me. Nowadays, I don't want to read directions. <laughs> I just want to like real quick. Let me get it. My son took mine. He wants to learn. So that's awesome, Sonia. Encourage him to do that, girl. He might be a top designer. But my husband or somebody, my kids better not be like, oh, my um shirt got a hole. Because I'll be like, uh-uh. You can't use my sewing machine. I'm not sewing that. Let me see. She already got it. Have no clue. I need to change my thread color. See, and Sandra, I was using the pink one. And when I got comfortable... Really? 300? Mine was two. was about one something, almost two. It's a really good sewing machine. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about sewing machines. I don't know if that's like an expensive price or whatever. But I can say from my experience, being someone who never sewn, never had a sewing machine, doesn't know shit about sewing machines or sewing, it's a really easy machine to use. All right. So that's the one with the berry bead. Okay. Do you guys think it looks like a strawberry? Yeah, girl, it's so sad. Like, I'd rather somebody show me. Do you struggle with that metallic thread? No. It probably got jammed. No, the pink one was the one that got jammed. So I've been using this one. And these are both from Joann's. So I've been using this one here. And I have it in different colors. And then I've been using the gold. So I use this one to, to try to practice with. And then once I got comfortable, I play with my gold because you guys know I love gold. So it's not it's not a paint, girl. It's actually, it's the same shit, in my opinion. It's the same thing. So let's go ahead and make this little heart one. Mine was 920 years ago. Oh my God, Debbie. It shares me to it shares me to sew on paper. Or are you, are you saying scarce? I want to get a cheap one to sew on paper. I don't know, guys. Like, I'm the wrong person to ask. You know, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm the wrong person to ask when it comes to the sewing machine. I just know that I bought this one for 200 and I love it. I even had to take it apart, and I was so scared, and I love it. It was not hard to take apart. It was easy to put back together. What is What kind of issues does it give you? So now we're going to make this one, the little strawberry one. And I'm just going to use... These red heart beads. I got these at Hobby Lobby around Valentine's Day. It was in the with the kids bracelet. It was a kids bracelet. So we'll do two of these. And this one's like a deeper heart. This one is the one that Cruz sent me from Walmart that I couldn't find. You there, Cruz? What kind of um, issues does the metallic thread give you? Only thing I can say is the metallic thread is expensive, girl. But other than that, it didn't give me any issues. So the same thing with this one. Same concept, guys. Simple. Metallic thread. Let me see. Metallic thread is hard to get the right tension because it's slippery. Oh, see, and I don't know anything about that tension and all that stuff. It falls off the spool when I'm threading the machine. So mine comes with a cover for the for the spool. There's a cover piece that you put on top of the spool. And it holds it like this. Hi, Cruz. Thank you for my beats, Cruz. The brother machines are the best. I have two singer machines and they are in my basement getting dust because I hate them. Maria, you better sell them to one of the girls, girl. Go ahead and sell them. They'll buy them. Don't let them catch dust. I hate them every time I use them was something with my brother. I never have a problem. I heard that the brothers were the best, so that's why I went with the brothers. Debbie, I wouldn't use that one for paper. Paper is going to cause a lot of dust from the paper. Yeah, and I saw from the, um, the videos, like a lot of troubleshooting issues um, are like with dust and stuff collected inside of your, um, your sewing machine. 
So here goes the other strawberry. Same thing, but let me make sure I glue this one this time. There's like a little thing going here. Where's my glue? Oh, we got 18 people watching. I thought everybody was going to be asleep. Tara, get you a sewing machine, girl. Oil it. Oh, Lord. I don't know. I think that if it messes up, I'm going to be like, um, I only had this thing for a month. You need to send me a new one. Good to know that a brother may be the best bet. Cover your machines with what, Sandra? Like a cover? They make covers for them? So I'm gluing this to overlap it. Like that. And then let me go ahead and add it. You got to oil the machine. Oh my God, girl. You got to lube it, girl. I got to lube my machine. So with this one, same thing, just fold it down. Bend it down. I think this one looks more like a strawberry, guys. So cute. So let's make this one. Same thing, wire wrap. It comes with oil. Mine didn't come with no oil, girl. It didn't come with no lube. I need to look in that bag. It did come with a pouch with a bunch of shit that I have no clue about. But whatever. I will learn. And there's... I'm so grateful for YouTube and Google. Like, you can find any damn tutorial. So, I was watching a video of a lady who was sewing some fabric and it got jammed way in there. This light is bothering me. Thank you, Debbie. Yes, it is important to keep it clean. I make a cover for mine. Also, cleaning and oiling is important. Maria, you want to make me a cover, girl? Can you make me a pretty cover? I'm PayPal ready, girl. Okay. So I'm just going to wire wrap the top. Damn it, that glue didn't dry all the way. The first time I used hot glue because it was faster. There we go. All right. And let me clip the little excess. Send me a picture of yours, Maria. I want a fancy one with ruffles and shit. I want an extra ass one. Okay, so there goes that one. Can you guys see it okay? And then here goes the berry one. So I definitely like the heart one better. Look, Maria, you don't got all kind of orders already, girl. So I think I like the, the heart-shaped one better. And on my, where'd it go? On this one, I used the deeper one that I, Cruz gave me from Walmart. And it looks really cute. It's just a different shape. So, And I use pink. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these. Let's go ahead and get started. So I already sold these. If you guys don't sew, I'm going to link my video of where we made these using just glue. Okay, all you got to do is fold it over um, and make sure that you glue it inside the creases of both sides. Okay, and I also try to, I try to uh, ruffle some trim. Don't, don't come for me. I know this looks like shit, but don't matter. And I'm not going to waste nothing. I don't care if this looks like crap. It's still going on my project. I'm going to make it work. So I layer some of this on here. Hi, Debbie. Yes, girl. I paid enough money for that damn thing. It's so funny. I was talking to my dad and he was like, I told him that I was playing with my sewing machine. And he's like, oh, yeah, what, are you going to make some clothes? I'm like, no, I'm using it for paper. He's like, what the hell you mean, paper? I'm like, you wouldn't understand, Dad. Never mind. Don't worry about it. He's like, what the hell are you sewing on paper for? I'm like, it just adds details, Dad. 
<laughs> and he's just like, you know, people who don't craft, they don't understand. Even my husband, he's like, what the hell you want to sew on paper for? So I just put a little bit there. I don't want to cover it too much. I want to still show the paper. I want to learn the glue method and folds. Cheryl, I did a tutorial. You didn't watch that video, girl? You're always on the lives. I will link it, I promise. Can one of my moderators find it? It's that um that Valentine's one that we did. I've seen people using that quilting material for a cover. Maria, are you going to send me a picture? <laughs> I know, guys. You guys are used to my nails looking like shit. They're finally starting to grow. I've been using this uh, nail hardener. So I've been keeping my mouth off my damn nails. After I had Ava, I don't know. My nails have always been long. You guys probably remember. So I use this. Um, where is that? This material is from Michaels. And I'm finally busting it out. So I went ahead and die cut these pink and main bowls. I don't know if Tara still has these in the store, but she did have them. And um, I put it this way. It still doesn't cut all the way through, but it cuts enough for me to guide my scissors over it. And I put some washi tape so it can hold it. <laughs> Why y'all messing with me? Thank you, Sandra. Sandra be on it, boy. All right, so I'm gonna use, make sure you guys use like some fabric scissors. Girl, that stimmy been gone since it hit. You know how long it's been since the stimmy hit? Girl, bye. Wait till I bust out my gels and start doing my nails like Tata. So I'm just going to like go over it. It cuts really easily because of the die cutting. Honestly, though, guys, you guys can trace these damn um, these bow dies. Trace them and cut them with your scissors. On this material because they're really hard to cut on the die machine all right so i'm just guiding it and going it's, it's already cut i'm just like going over the edges my stimuli got deposited today paypal me five dollars i'm trying to see something debbie oh i can tomorrow honey because i can't walk being in my bed for two days can't walk my sack is hurting the hell maria you're back I'm getting all professional and shit. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Oh, you're back. I'm like, what the hell you mean your sack is hurting? Maria, what the hell? I hope you feel better, mama. All right. So let me cut this out. So I do like how that first one came out, but I want to layer it. I think it needs like a pop of, it needs something extra. It's like too much of the glitter fox leather, whatever you call this. How many of you guys buy this stuff and don't really use it? You kind of hoard it. Sack left <laughs> Hmm. You can't put words like that, Maria. You already know how we are. Our minds are always in the gutter. All right, let me get the tail. Tara, do you still got these bowls or what? What's going on? You got to get some sleep, Maria. You got to get some rest, girl. Like, And don't be stressed. I noticed ever since I had Ava, I've been having a lot of back issues. Whenever I'm stressed or I don't get enough sleep, or if I get really upset, my back starts to hurt really bad and so weird. All right. You guys like having anxiety watching me cut this shit. Girl, I got some icy hot in the heating pad. Hell no, just writing a check back to them. I got my butterfly dye from Urban Gems video posted. Oh, you got your Urban Gems dye, huh? I have the large bowls. The smaller set may be sold out. This is the large one that I'm using right now. This is the biggest one, right? Or maybe it's the next size down from this one. 
But anyways, these are my favorite bow dies. Who won the uh, the bow dies from my boho swap? I know that person was happy to win that. So we're gonna go ahead and put our bow together. Have you gotten any rest though? Have you been sleeping? I love Icy Hot. Always rubbing that in the back of my neck. What the hell? My sack for sure is going to hurt. <laughs> All right. So there goes our bow. And I went ahead and cut this one. This is the large bow that Tara has, the size here. You guys can see how it looks. It's too damn wide. Girl, if you even know how I wear out Poochie 10. <laughs> the one she's using is the extra large. Yes, this is the extra large. This is what it looks like. And then the next size down, I believe this is the large. Yeah, this is the large one that she has in her shop, which is this one that I'm putting together. So let me go ahead and use both of these. I think it's going to be a nice pop of color. See, that's the problem, Maria. Like, guys, you have to sleep. Look at me talking about some damn sleep, and I don't even get no sleep. But that's what heals our body because during the day, we just do too much. And stress and all that, we don't see how that affects. Oh, look at how pretty that is. I like that. All right, so let me put that one here. I like that way better. Okay. And then I'm going to get my scraps and cut a middle. It does come with a middle piece, I think. But I hate cutting those. They're always, they're always too, too short for my fat fingers. Girls. Your mama's on live. Yes, catnaps. Thanks, girl. So we'll put this here. Look how pretty that is. Yes, that looks so much better than the other one. It was like too much, too much glitter. Who would have known that's a thing? All right. Um, I have arthritis in my spine. Biofreeze really works. Oh my god, guys. We're getting up there. Up we get what? We're getting me up this weekend. I hope to take a few steps without me giving the all shirls. My doctor suggested, but I don't like the smell and I can't be in the smoke. Cause me up. I'm asthmatic. Hi, Angel. Let me focus. You guys are trying to distract me. Ouch. All right. So if you guys are looking for this, you everyone needs to have this pink and main bowl in their stash. Because look, it also has stitching. And it comes with two different bottoms. So you can do the tail, which is what I put. Where the hell keep throwing it? On this one. Or you can do this one, which goes on the, you know, the side. So we'll go with this. Let me go ahead and stick a jump ring in here before I forget. Well, no, I can wait. Let's go ahead and add our bottom. That looks so much prettier. Right, guys? I like it a lot. I was thinking of cutting. Should we cut the tail, too, and have it layered? I don't want to because I'm being lazy. But should we? Let me cut it, see how it looks. Hold on, guys. Let me fit this here. Let me try it. Let 
in my plates. Layer, layer, layer. Let me cut a couple of these. So when I make some more. I hate cutting bows though, like bow dies, because I feel like it wastes so much paper, man. So what's going on? Are you guys crafting today? How was your day? I watched a reel uh, a couple weeks ago that I had posted. And they made some lasagna roll-ups. I made that today. It was so good. Even Elijah ate it. He's such a picky eater. I'm going to do it one more time for good luck. Hi, Luz. All right, I put three papers in there. One day somebody's gonna come out with a dime machine that cuts 10 or 20 pieces of paper at once. And I'm gonna buy that shit. All right, let's see how this layer piece looks. So again, this smaller die is the large die that Tara has in her shop. Let me see. I like it. I like it a lot. So let me add some glue. I feel you, girl. I got back pains from time to time. I'm only 30. Yes, I've been experiencing that ever since um, I was pregnant with Ava. So weird. All right, put that there. Oh, my God. How pretty these colors look together. So pretty. Okay, that's so cute. So there goes our bowl. I wanted to add um, like some of this pom-pom, but I thought it would be too much. But you guys remember when I did that live and we added the pom-pom trim around the edge? It looks really cute. I got into beading and your videos are fantastic. Thank you. Hi, Mandy. Welcome. Back pain sucks. My iPad about to die. Gonna watch. Gonna charge it and watch on TV. Okay. I feel you, girl. I get back pains. It rained here today, and I was darn near in tears. My son turned 30 today. Oh, happy birthday to your son. I did till 11. Now I'm in bed. <laughs> I can't believe you're on here, Debbie. I have a message, a massage mat. You lay on it, and it massages you. Mm. All right, I'm just trying to catch up with the chat, guys. I had an epidural during labor. I heard about that. Sometimes my knee hurts because I dislocated it some years ago. And sometimes when it rains, it's so weird how that happens. Like, how is that? So I'm going to go ahead and glue my um, bow down. Let me make sure I'm not covering up too much of the... All right, I like that. And these are cute embellishments, guys. You guys can use these for back toppers. So just do like a folded piece of paper and just bloop, stick right on top. All right. Let me add my little ice cream. It's so cute. How cute is that ice cream cone? Let's do the beads first, though. Let me get all shit off my desk. I believe it, Sandra. Ever since my first epi, it's been hurting ever since the time I can't get out of bed because the pain is just too much. Thank you, Sonia. Guys, thumbs up this video for me, please. Thank you so much, Mandy. It's good to have you here tonight with us. With us crazy girls. It does sucks. Was all years working on healthcare, working with behavior and bariatic, bariatric patients. I had a bad wreck when I was 17. Oh my God, girl. All right, let me stick 
we need a jump ring to put on here and then we're gonna make a dangle of course we're gonna make a dangle do you guys like it when i make dangles or are you tired of seeing me making dangles don't matter all right i was gonna say everyone behave <laughs> you probably said it already but what paper are you using i am using um sweet story this one here i'm so sad this one's discontinued i can't find any ephemera and i'm using this page here it's a floral page all right let's make a dangle and i think i want to use i want to make a pink strawberry again and let me use hold on guys bear with me I just learned how to make a dangle and oh boy, it's fun. It is. It's so addicting, Mandy. You're going to want to put dangles on everything. <laughs> Everybody here is somebody's mama almost. It is, girl. You know my bow's got to be extra. Like how I'm going to be, how I'm going to be queen bow hole swap and my bows are not extra. Let me move this stuff. My desk is starting to get cluttered. Mm -hmm. I got stuff going everywhere, guys. Hold on. How cute are these from Natalie's shop? I'm so obsessed. So what collections are you guys playing with? Are you guys tired of Garden Party yet? I'm not. But I will be switching from Garden Party and uh, Sweet Story. So I'm gonna use some of these from Pretty Mix Studio. These are her latest beads. Okay. Hold on, guys. Cause I got stuff on top of my rack. In front of it. There we go. Let's use this. All right. Throw shit off my desk. All right. I love this embellishment. It's so cute, guys. It's so nice to meet you, Sandra. All right, let's make this thing go. I keep saying all right. Everything's just everywhere right now. I had, I was just like trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these little, I wanted to make something with my banners and these. So that's why I came up with this. So go ahead and open up your jump rings. For any mom I offended, my name is Sandra. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Mama. Girl, I didn't stitch anything. That was that damn machine. So go ahead and loop your jump ring in here. I should have did that before I glued it down, damn it. There we go. What are you guys talking about? All right. There goes my jump ring. And I'm going to leave it open until we do our dangle. Okay. Hmm, let me see. More than... I love how you stitch it. Um... Hmm. 
Cheryl's, I can't. I can't with you. All right. If I say all right one more fucking time. Let me get my eye pin. And I want to use an eye pin because I want to... I forgot what Swigga is. What's that, Sandra? Let's do our beading. Let's use this one. Mother-in-law. I always forget. Let me get my Daisy Spacers. You guys can get these at Pretty Mix Studio. You guys know these are my favorite to use on my dangles. Who's your mother-in-law, girl? That was your mother-in-law? The hell? What other colors are in here? The mustard yellow. I still want to add. Let's make the strawberry by putting the heart and our little sequins from Pretty Mix Studio. Where's the yellow ones? Who's your damn mother-in-law, Sandra? Hold up. I ain't nobody's mother-in-law. <laughs> Where's Silly? So, again, I want to use the yellow as well. Let me glue this first. Hi, Emily. Hi, Veronica. Did I say hi? Right. Tell her. Not yet. Oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. So again, overlap it. Like that. Hey, Christian. And then we're going to put it on top of our heartbeat. Damn it, I glued the hole. Okay, so there's your heart bead from Pretty Mix Studio. And then these are the flower sequins. And bend it down like this. Bend it so that it lays right on top. Look at how cute that is. Can you guys see it okay? I don't think I like this one here too long. Put a different one. Hmm. This is the one I was looking for. I'm making pokey tools. Ooh. Yes, girl, they're beautiful. Everything in Pretty Mix Studio is gorgeous. Did you guys go crazy and, and buy everything in the shop or what? All right, so we have the crystal one. Let's go ahead and drop this darker pink one for the strawberry and then we're going to go ahead and place our flower sequins there we go to form our strawberry so there goes our strawberry and then I'm going to keep beating Let's go ahead and use this one and each other one.
Let me grab a Hishi bead. Let's actually layer a few. What are you guys talking about? Hi, Cassie. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Let's see. That's awesome shows I haven't started yet. I just need your estate till tonight. You're making a video, Cheryl's. Hi, Bodiqua. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let us know if you're going to be making a video. All right. So let me layer my Hishi beads. And I'm going to put one more little tiny one. Let's just do this teal looking one. All right. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead and do our wire wrapping. So do you guys like this little strawberry bead or what? The beaded strawberry. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks for stopping in, hon. I know these are not your hours. I appreciate you, girl. Debbie's the sweetest. All right, let me wire wrap this. I bought all the acetate they had on clearance at Michael's. I haven't been to Michael's in a long time, guys. I've been seeing people talk about these new paper pads and stuff, but I haven't seen them. What do you guys think about the new paper pads? All right. I'm going to clip that little end. All right, let me align this up again. There goes our little dango with the strawberry. What did Debbie say? I want to go shopping with Bucci. <laughs> Girl, when this COVID stuff is over, I call myself more of a collector than a hoarder. <laughs> Hey, Tracy Boo. I like their new travel theme paper. Welcome back. Hi, Chantal. Where you been at, girl? All right. So we're making this. If you're just joining, guys, we created. I sold these finally because I've been using my sewing machine. And I added this ruffle trim. You guys remember I had hauled this from Amazon. You get three rolls of this beautiful uh, star uh, trim tool. This is what it looks like. You get three of these. It's so beautiful. So I just ran it through my sewing machine. And then we cut this out of the glitter canvas. And then we use the Sweet Story Collection. So we use the extra large pink and main bowl. And then the large pink and main bowl. And you can get this large pink and main bowl from Urban Gems right now. And you can use Poochie 10 to get another 10% off. So the yellow paper that you're seeing is the size of this. This is the extra large. This is the large. All right, so we already got that open. Let's go ahead and stick our dangle in there and close it up. Make sure you guys close this up all the way because you're 
dangle will fall off. So use both your tools and make sure that it closes all the way. And then I like to move it so that it's hidden. So there goes our dangle. And I want to finish this off with the little embellishment that we made, the little ice cream. I want to put that in the middle because this is for the Sweet Story collection. So let me get a pop dot. Hey, Eve. They have been rebranding a lot in recollections. Thank you, girl. So let me add a little foam square. And then we can add our little ice cream embellishment. I love this glue, but I can't stand the damn spermies. The little glue webbies. Look at how cute. I love it. How cute is that, guys? And I think I want to add some of my um my gold foil on the bow. They did Heritage too. I'm so happy I have that puncher too. Girl, it's so cute. And I did some stitching on it, Christian. Look. I'm just trying to catch up with the chat. Cassie, I get my second on the 22nd. My first shot was kind of bad. Do you know? I just got my tool from AliExpress from last year. Y'all been getting stuff from Twitter. What? Have you guys seen? That they have Jen Hatfield, the Avenue rebranded as a Recollections. Yeah, they did that with Heritage too. Thank you, Cassie. Sorry, guys, I'm late on comments. I just ordered the yellow to alter my Dollar Tree bunny. The yellow was Cheryl's. Thank you, Eve. You know, Cassie likes the travel paper. Okay. I think I'm caught up. I just watched all the chick flick swaps. They was the bomb. It was so fun watching them. My doctor said if the first shot was bad, the chances are I already had COVID. What? You guys make everything so glamorous. Thank you so much, Christian. I finally got the wooden beads for the bubble gum. Yay! I can't wait to see you make them. Um, you guys have been making some beautiful stuff. So weird. I'm really curious how all that works, like the rights to the artwork. They probably just bought the rights. I don't know. I don't see her selling that, though. Really, Beth? Because my first one was bad, too. Yellow lace tool. Oh, yes. All right. So there goes that, guys. And I want to add a charm on the bottom. You think we should do this fuzzy ball? This is from Pretty Mix Studio as well. Let me see what charms I got. Or we can do some little bows. I got this little tiny bow one. It might be cute. What do my night owls think? This little tiny bow one? Or the fuzzy ball? I know y'all like y'all balls. Or we can do this bow. Let me line them up right here. So you guys can decide. All right, so all these things are from Pretty Mix Studio, guys. Which one should we do? What else do I have? I have a cupcake too, but I think I'm liking the bows or the fuzzy ball. Hi, Anna. Okay, we got a vote for the bow, a vote for the ball, two votes for the fuzzy, fuzzy ball. Tracy Boo said both. Both. I love Pretty Mix Studio. Get a big jump ring and add all three. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see. I can't, I can't decide, guys. Fuzzy ball, come on, y'all yell at me and tell me which one to put, damn it. I see everyone saying uh, fuzzy balls.
fuzzy ball, boom. Oh my God, I can't decide. Hmm. Why am I looking for another one? The bow. Yeah, yell at me. The bow? I'm going with the bow. I'm going with the bow. But I like the fuzzy too. Yeah, the bow looks better, I think. All right, we're going with the bow holes. Smooth balls. <laughs> Watch her put something else. Oh my God. What if I put the fuzzy ball here? No, it's going to look stupid. You don't think it's going to be too long with the fuzzy ball? I like the bow better. Because we got the bows and the bows and the bow. Balls, bow. Oh my God. Could you guys tell me which one to use already, damn it? Sandra, can you count the numbers for me? Don't cheat, Sandra. What does majority say? I can't trust my other moderators to tell me the truth. Only Sandra. They're going to um put a vote for what they want. Bowls in this house. <laughs> Cassie's the only one saying cupcake. Whoa, Sandra said I'm not counting shit. Damn. She just tried to treat my life, though. Okay, Sandra. I feel you, girl. If you can't choose, pick them both. Oh, my God. Christian really wants some balls. <laughs> I really like the bowl, guys. Would it look cute if I do both? Let's see. Can't believe you talk to me like that, Sandra. I thought you were top. Uh, I thought you're the only one I could trust. Let me see if I could do both. It's gonna look stupid. Let me see. How's that look? That's kind of cute. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm doing both, damn it. I ain't got time for this shit. You're not gonna stress me out. Maria, where are you? Really? We're going with both. I like how it looks on top of the fuzzy ball. Cruz likes her ball shaved. Christians like hers fuzzy. And Debbie likes hers with a bow on it. Oh, look at how cute it is hanging on there. I love it. Okay. So I know this is extra as hell. Um, but I want to add some of those that gold foil stuff that we use. So anyways, point being, go get these charms from Pretty Mix Studio. Get your balls and your bows, okay? Because us bow holes, we like both. You think it's cute? Sandra likes her balls to hang low. Do your balls hang low? Do they bobble? I don't I remember the song. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to put my beads away. Usually I'll make a couple, but today I'm just going to make this one. Because I got to call my boo. I got to call daddy. All right, so we got our ice cream going. We got our bowl. We got our fuzzy ball. We got our little stringies. Look at how cute these gold threads are hanging. Oh, my God. I'm going to sew every damn thing. <laughs> That's why you my sister, Debbie. All right, let me find my gold foil flakes. And we'll add some of this and we'll be done. But again, you guys can use this for anything. This will look cute um, on an embellishment book, on the front of a journal to decorate it. This will look really bomb on top of a bag topper.
So I'm using this from Heidi Swap. I got this at Joann's. I'm always showing you guys this. Thank you, Christian. My goodness, love that bow. Thank you, guys. I think that this set it off, the yellow, because this is the first one that I made. And it's like, she cute, she cute, she cute or whatever. But then it's like, bam, bam. This one got a lot going on, guys. But I think it's pretty. All right. So let's add our gold flakes. You don't need much. They come with like all these different sheets. This is way too much. But look at how much is on here. There's a lot. All right. I don't need that much. So all you need is some wet glue. Can you tie them in a knot? And you tie them in a bow? <laughs> it looks so yummy. The hello is bam. Thank you, Eve. The yeah, yes, the yellow really makes it pop. Um, again, I'm playing with the sweet story collection, so I definitely want to add that yellow in there. Okay, so you take your wet glue and you just put it wherever you want to put it. Don't put too much glue. I'm just going to put it in different spots. Okay. Then you just take your flakes and you just lay it on top. Just like that. Okay, so then I like to rub it with my finger because I want to give it that messy look. But you can use a brush to brush it off. See that little extra that it adds? So pretty. So then use the excess on the other side. Have you guys tried these flakes yet? Because I've been showing these to you guys. I can see nobody tagged me and tell me that they have them and they tried them. They even have this in Kaka Silver for all you Kaka Silver lovers. They have it in copper. And they also have these flakes in a pretty pink color. A metallic pink. I need that in my life. It's okay. This chat is popping. Thanks, girly. Now I have a way to use that gold shit. Yes, girl. You got to put that on every damn thing. You know the song means something. I don't remember. But I've seen this lady say a lot about these songs. I think Sandra's been drinking her coffee again. This is from Joanne's. Joanne's Cassie. Oh, hell no. I glued two to this. What the hell is wrong with me? What the hell? Oh, well. Wow. Don't do that, guys. Don't be like me. Be better than me. All right. Let me add some on the bottom as well. Again, I don't want to put too much because these are tiny spots. I don't need that much. I don't want to cover up all the paper because the paper is popping. You okay, baby? No. What is that you're grabbing? No. I can't believe I used two damn die cuts. And Debbie didn't tell me shit. That's going to bother me. I'm going to cut that back one out. When I see it, I'll share it. You will be surprised by the meaning of these songs. I love this bowl so extra. Thank you, girl. Put it in my box. Yes. Put gold shit on everything. Yes. Why did I let Bob eat pizza? Dang, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, so let me rub this off. The excess. So you probably want to do this foil thing like before you put the dangles and stuff, but it don't matter.
Let me turn our strawberry. There we go. All right, so there goes our bow. Let me get it. This is gonna be hard to take a picture of, but you guys get the concept. It lays really nicely on the ball. And then we got the little details. So super pretty guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys, um, I don't know, are inspired or whatever. And um, I don't know, I just really love this little punch and the strawberries. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. I enjoyed you guys. That's a big embellishment. It is, girl. It's supposed to be like four. Girl, everything's not going to be no baby embellishments, okay? Sometimes you need a wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Again, this will look really good on a bag topper. If I just glue it on top of a bag topper. And it's going to be extra as hell. You can put it on a journal. You can put it on whatever. You can use it to embellish anything. Thank you, sis. Watch that link. We love the live. Super inspired. Thank you, girl. Hooray. Say, yeah, hurry up and say your goodbyes. Fuzzy ball plus bow is super cute. All right. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.